Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to give you a quick overview of our Doppler plugin. The plugin is pretty straightforward. You have a sound and you can add a Doppler shift to that sound. For this tutorial we brought an engine type of sound that sounds like this. And now let's see how the plugin with its default values can change the sound to add the Doppler shift. As you can hear, the plugin is simulating the movement of the sound. In this case, it starts from the left and goes towards the right. It will pass in front of this middle position, which is represented by a microphone. And so we will hear not only the sound moving from one point to the other, but also we will hear the Doppler shift as if we were positioned at the same spot of the microphone. One of the first things we can change is the velocity at which the source is moving. And let's maybe increase this parameter and see how this affects the Doppler shift. Now that the source is moving much faster, we get a completely different Doppler effect. I believe the Doppler in this case is way too sudden, so maybe we can increase the distance between the microphone and the source to make the source and the microphone be at a longer distance when the source reaches that middle point that is basically simulating where we are standing from the point of view of the source. Let's also add some acceleration to make things more exciting. Using these arrows here, we can very easily reverse the movement of our source. Since the plugin also simulates distance between the microphone and the source or the sound we are working with, we can change this distance attenuation parameter to increase the difference between the sound or the amplitude of the sound when the source is close to the mic and far away from the mic. Or we can decrease that difference. In addition to volume attenuation to simulate distance, the Doppler plugin also adds high frequency content attenuation in order to simulate distance. Now with frequency attenuation. We can also change the orientation of the microphone. By default, it's pointing towards the front at zero degrees. And we can, for instance, change it to 90 degrees. And then the microphone is pointing towards the left. So the sound, instead of coming from right to left, now it will go from back to front. For instance, if we change the orientation of the microphone to 180 degrees, now the sound, instead of going from right to left, it will go from left to right.
We can also change the type of microphone we are using. Depending on the type of track, you will get different types of microphones. In this case, we have mono and stereo microphones. But for instance, we also have surround and immersive formats and also ambisonics formats. Inside mono, you can change the polar patterns of the mic. And in the case of stereo, we can choose from different configurations such as ORTF. Let's give it a listen. Lastly, we can also change the time to pick. So depending on the length of the audio file, we can set where we want the pick to occur. If we choose higher peak times, the Doppler shift will take longer to happen. If we choose shorter time to picks, the Doppler will be more immediate. There are three modes for the time to pick, signal, loop and time code. The signal will have the fade in, the peak and then the fade out and the effect ends. The loop will do the same thing, but instead of ending, it will go back to the initial point and apply the Doppler again. And with the time code, we can set specific time codes for our uh, position for the Doppler to occur. Finally, we can also use the gain knob to change the overall output volume of the plugin. This is the overview we wanted to give you of the Doppler plugin. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, please give us your feedback on the comment section below. Follow us on our social media. The trial for this plugin is also available on our website. The links are in the description. And I hope you enjoyed it. Please take care and we'll see you on another tutorial. Thank you.